Part 1. White Clouds. Blue Sea Moon. The Goddess's Rite of Rebirth. As the sun grows stronger and the nights grow ever shorter, the Blue Sea Star returns to the sky once more. Believed to be the goddess's home, her followers look to the star and commence celebrations of her rebirth. On the grounds of Garag Mach Monastery, a grand ceremony is held in honor of this much anticipated event. Every true follower of the Church of Saros is sure to be in attendance. Okay, so our task this moon is to patrol and guard the monastery in support of the knights, who are busy trying to stop an assassination plot. Here's the thing. I don't think the bad guys are really trying to assassinate the Archbishop. Come on, Teach. Don't you think that secret note Lord Lenato was carrying around was just a little too obvious? People don't just carry around secret notes. Someone wanted us to find it. You really think the assassination plot is just a distraction? Oh yeah, that makes complete sense. But then, what are they really after? If I knew that, I wouldn't be so worried. Let's see. It probably involves somewhere that will be empty during the Rite of Rebirth, yeah? Since the ceremony is at the Goddess Tower, it follows that everywhere else at the Academy will be severely understaffed. Do you think they're after the Church's donation money? I hear noble families tend to donate quite generously. My bet's on the dining hall. It's a treasure trove of delicious food. Makes me angry just thinking about them getting their grubby hands on it. Let's split up and look around. I'll keep an eye on the reception hall. You should get in some training if you have the time, Hilda. There's a good chance we'll have to fight. <sighs> well, I'm not the only one who needs to train here. It's not right to single me out like that. A secret meeting, Professor? Oh, we haven't been introduced. I am Shamir. Shamir is one of the Knights of Saros, and that little go-getter there is... I work for Lady Rhea, and I'm Shamir's apprentice. Oh, the name's Cyril. Yep, I help Lady Rhea with all kinds of stuff. I've got to protect Lady Rhea, so that's why I've got to learn all I can from Shamir. Cyril adores Rhea. That aside, if you need anything, ask. The Rite of Rebirth is finally underway. Time to see if our hunch was right. Ugh, I hope it's not. Then we wouldn't have to fight anyone. We've all come to this conclusion together. I'm sure we've got it right. Right or wrong, the clock is ticking. All we can do for now is stick to the plan. You seem a mite too relaxed for my liking. The Goddess's Rite of Rebirth is about to begin. While we are in the Goddess Tower, we are relying on you to secure the locations that are lacking in defense. May I let you in on something, Professor? My brother can be a bit... callous. He told me that he was concerned about you, and hinted that perhaps you would be better off patrolling a coffin. <laughs> that was said in jest, Flame, and in confidence. Please just remain by my side and do not cause any more trouble. As a professor, you would do well to remember that it is your duty to guide your students down the path of righteousness. Please excuse us, everyone. We shall see you again after the ceremony has concluded. Sedith is way too overprotective. He reminds me of my brother. Come on, Teach. I know a hidden spot where we can monitor the stairs that lead to the Holy Mausoleum. If there's anyone down there, they'll be trapped like the rats they are. We'll just have to take them down without getting bitten. Our guess was spot on. 
Looks like we have company. And those Central Church dasters have spotted us. Buy me some time while I open the seal on the casket. I'm on it. Looks like the enemy is going after the casket in the back. Maybe they're going after the saint's bones? Weird. I'd like to defeat them before they can finish the job. But did you notice? Look closely at the ground. There's some kind of contraption on certain parts of the floor. The smart move is to advance while finding the best fighting positions we can, based on the enemy's weaponry. Death Knight! Prove your strength and scatter these fools! I don't take commands, or waste my time on weaklings. I'm getting a really disturbing vibe from that guy. No one go near the evil-looking knight, okay? The reinforcements haven't arrived? Hmm. If they approach from behind, we can attack them from both sides. Like moths to a flame. Let us know. This should work. It's hard to be happy about that. I told you that if you fled, I would not chase you. But it seems you wish to die. Appreciate it. Expect 
to encounter someone like you. How fortunate. I have to try harder. You're too late. My moment has arrived. It's not luck, it's fate. I'm not done yet. I've reached the pinnacle. It's no use. A seal is broken. You can't... Uh, a sword. Is the intruder here? Oh, looks like you have this under control. You, round up any stragglers. Will do. As all of you have committed a breach of faith, the Archbishop will now pass judgment. Inciting a kingdom noble to rebel. Unlawful entry. The attempted assassination of the Archbishop. An attack on the Holy Mausoleum. It is unnecessary to go on, followers of the Western Church. What? We have nothing to do with the Western Church. You have already been identified. Please spare us your second-rate theater. Dishonoring a holy ceremony is worthy of death for a member of the Church. You are well past the hope of redemption. If you have any grace remaining, you will willingly offer your life as atonement for this crime. No! This isn't what we were told would happen! We've been deceived! It's no use arguing. Whatever your excuse, the punishment stands. May your souls find peace as they return to the Goddess. Wait! Please! The Goddess would never forgive you for our execution! Monster! We know you've already slaughtered many of our fellow brethren like this. This concludes the investigation. Please remove these poor lost souls from my sight. I suppose that's that. The assassination attempt, the attack on the Holy Mausoleum... Looks like it was all a plot by the Western Church. It's just too bad that that masked knight who was leading the attack got away. Vanished without a trace. But... why would the Western Church want to attack Lady Rhea? Why? Take your pick of reasons. Relations with the Western Church aren't exactly friendly. Oh, that's right. Gerald mentioned that you grew up completely isolated from the church. The Church of Saros is split into a few different branches across Fodlan. The Central Church is headquartered right here at Garrick Mach. Then there's the Western Church. Far west from Castle Gaspar, where Lord Lanato had his little rebellion, is the fortress city of Arian Road. 
It's the strongest fortress in the kingdom. On the other side of it is the headquarters of the Western Church. Not too smart to bicker with people who worship the same goddess as you. The bishop of the Western Church must be pretty ambitious. Probably hopes to split off completely. In which case, he'd need to weaken the Central Church's influence. Killing Rhea is certainly one way to do that. To the shock of no one, I hear the Knights have been sent to subdue the leaders of the Western Church. We'll probably get a chance to assist. You're an odd one, aren't you, Professor? How'd you make it this far in life without ever interacting with the Church? I can't believe someone like you exists in Fodlin. It's too strange. If you think that's weird, consider the fact that Rhea hired Teach despite all that. So those guys they caught, they all got the axe, right? That's brutal. Lady Rhea can be rather intimidating at times. In fact, she can be downright terrifying. Professor, those who cannot be saved must be delivered to the Goddess for judgment. Is that not so? There you are, Professor. It seems Lady Rhea would like a word with you. Come with me. The Archbishop lives. Not that I had ever placed much faith in those swine from the Western Church. I have news, both good and bad. The remains of Saros were not in a tomb. However, something else was. The Sword of the Creator. Ah, the weapon wielded by that thief, the King of Liberation. Thief? Huh. At any rate, it is now in the hands of the Academy's new professor. I doubt you will be surprised to hear that the Crest Stone had already been removed from the sword when it was found. Hmm. As expected. It would be foolish to keep both in the same location. There's more. The Professor was able to awaken the sword's true power. Even without the Crest Stone, the sword glowed red. The Professor's crest is compatible. There is no mistaking it. Absurd. Using a relic without its crest stone should be impossible. The King of Liberation's bloodline should not even... Hmm. They must be allowed to keep it, for now. I do not have enough information about the Professor to act. As for your request, I assent. The Death Knight is at your command. Use him well. Good. I believe I will enjoy this a great deal. I cannot thank you enough for defeating those invaders in the Holy Mausoleum, and especially for protecting the Sword of the Creator. That sword is one of the hero's relics, and the most precious artifact in the Church's possession. It is also a weapon of terrifying power. For now, I will entrust the sword to you. Please, use it wisely. Lady Rhea, wait! Do you truly mean to give the sword of the Creator to this... stranger? Surely it is not the sort of thing one hands over so readily, even to someone who has the ability to wield it. If someone like Nemesis were to appear again, all of Vodlin would be consumed by war. Nemesis. The King of Liberation. He is an ancient king of mankind who was defeated by Seros over a thousand years ago. When Fodlin was attacked by wicked gods, it is said that the goddess gifted Nemesis with the Sword of the Creator. Nemesis used that sword to defeat the wicked gods, saving all of Fodlin. Henceforth, he was dubbed the King of Liberation. However, his power began to corrupt him until he himself turned to the darkness. Saint Seros was forced to destroy him. Lady Rhea, I beg you to reconsider. Given a little more time, we could more accurately assess this stranger's abilities. No. I have faith, Sedeth. Faith that our friend here will not be corrupted by wickedness. Since the death of Nemesis, none have been able to wield the Sword of the Creator. Now, after all those long years of being sealed away, it has returned, 
and found a new master. I understand. As you wish, Lady Rhea. There you have it, Professor. See that you do not betray the trust the Archbishop has seen fit to bestow upon you. The Sword of the Creator? The King of Liberation? Each tale is more confusing than the last. And I really can't read that Rhea at all. That sword is clearly precious. So why is she so keen to gift the thing to you? I feel as though we have become entangled in a mystery. And there is one more thing that has been plaguing me. The Sword of the Creator. It somehow feels distinct from other relics we have seen. Such as the one that... Oh goodness, what was her name? Ka... Cat... Uh... Yes, her! The Sword of the Creator is different from her Thunderbrand in one key way. It bears a hole where something should have been, but is no more. I despise not knowing what is going on. It, it frightens me. And yet, I place my trust in you. I must. Whatever comes to pass, please swear to cut a path that is your own. Sword of the Creator, pulled right from the legends. I finally found it, and yet it ended up in Teach's hands. Could I even use it anyway? Ah, damn it. There's no telling what's to come. <laughs>